Well, hi, third and seventh hour FST classes. This is Mrs. Landon here. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what your learning is going to look like as we kick off this first week in our e-learning. Uh, we are going to have uh, our first three days of learning for you guys is going to start on Tuesday. So I'm going to be talking about Tuesday and Thursday of this week and then the Monday of the following week. There's three days of learning. You're going to see the folders here nicely organized. Uh, let's actually look at the calendar real quickly. If I click on this, uh, again, your even days, so you start FST on Tuesday. Uh, a couple assignments here, you're going to do a, a review Kahoot and a multiple choice for Chapter 5 and upload your work for that. On Thursday, you're going to finish the section on 5.5c, which is area of a triangle, and you're going to kick off your Chapter 5 assessment project. And then that assessment project, if we look at the calendar here, is going to have a deadline of the following Monday um, by 3 p.m., and that will wrap up Chapter 5. If we look at how it's organized on the folders, uh, the day one, I put all the information on the outside so it's very easy to follow. You're gonna play this Kahoot, you're gonna upload a photo of what your Kahoot results were. You're gonna use some scratch paper, hang on to that scratch paper because you're not done with it yet. You're then gonna do a multiple choice review of chapter five on a green puzzle piece, use the scratch paper when needed. Then you're gonna go up here and upload your work. So if we take a peek at that, here's the Kahoot, here's the multiple choice, here's upload work. On this Kahoot, if I click into the folder, it's going to actually have directions for you. So just click into that assignment. It's going to tell you what I expect you to do. I do want you to upload a final picture of your scoreboard at the end. This Kahoot's a little different. It's not an all-class Kahoot. It's an individual Kahoot. So get out some scratch paper and play this Kahoot. Please type your full uh, first and last name here because it does send me your results. And just this is going to be graded on participation. Then the green puzzle pieces, just what we've been doing a lot in school lately, is right here. Try this review, do your uh, scratch work on your paper, and then upload your final paper. Uh, that is day one. Now, in terms of deadlines, our homework for this stuff is not going to be due on the final assessment or test date. It's going to be a little more uh, stringent in this case. Your homework is going to be due on for day one, or the deadline really, is the next school day. So by your day two at 9 a.m., this homework for day one has to be complete. Otherwise, all you can earn is up to half of the points. Um, there's no reason why you can't get this day one assignment assigned on Tuesday done by Thursday at 9 a.m. Let's look at day two. Day two says here, watch the video on 5.5c, do the homework. Um, keeping in mind on the daily homework, I have actually turned off the proficiency levels now. It used to be at 70%. You only have three tries again, but whatever you get after those three tries is your score. If you really want to do better, you're going to have to email me and we'll have to talk through email on how to help you can improve your score after the third try. It could possibly unlock it for you if needed. Um, and then you're going to start your chapter five project. If uh, we peek into this folder, what you're going to find I do have a PDF document of the actual textbook. So this is section 5.5. You're more than welcome to take a look at that. Uh, here's the video you're going to watch. So just click on that, and it's a little over five minutes. Take your notes on area of a triangle, and then this is the homework. Um, this is also right here a PDF document of the notes if you need a quick uh, look at them. Then you're going to start and kick off your Chapter 5 uh, assessment project. So please watch this uh, short video here, which will talk about the project. All the documents I talk about in the video are found in this folder. So what you're going to find is a one-page guideline. So I definitely recommend you look at that, print it out if you like. Um, I'm going to talk about, um, you're going to have to use a protractor and ruler within the project. If you don't have those at home, I did find some great Chrome extensions. And I, this video shows you how to install them and how to actually use those extensions on your computer screen. Then the last video is I give you an example of a project that I would possibly do for this. I don't walk through the entire thing, but I give you an idea of how to start and hopefully give you a lot of clarity on that. Now, that's the end of your really week one. Uh, week two, we do want to talk about that Monday, though, because that's your day three. So day three, what I'm going to do is have a Zoom session. And on this or in this Zoom session, uh, you're going to see three here on the screen. You guys are only going to have one show up on yours. Um, so there's a third hour and a seventh hour Zoom session on Monday. If your third hour, uh, your Zoom session, when you click into it, is going to look like this. Uh, you're going to see your Zoom sessions at 1030. That's the first beginning of the, your official hour. Um, 
On this, I'm going to have this hold it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, all you need to do, uh, remember, is just join the Zoom session so you can go to join. And this is the ID. Um, and you can come in and come online on the computer and ask me any questions you have as you're trying to wrap up this assessment. Uh, because the assessment's deadline is that Monday at 3 p.m. Anything submitted after that can only earn up to 60%. So you really want to get this in on time. When you're ready to turn this in, um, you're just going to go here to the Chapter 5 project and upload your image and all of your math that supports the work that you did to solve the problem. Um, if you have other questions too and you don't want to wait till the Zoom session, just email me. I'm at Landon N uh, at 277apps.org. Careful, Landon D is not me. I'm not going to get that email. Uh, so once we finish that on your Monday, we're going to actually wrap up Chapter 5 and it will be concluded. So uh, just be cautious of your daily assignment deadlines, which is, again, the next school day of your school day, which is almost the two days later. And then the project deadline or your assessment for this is going to be that Monday, uh, the 6th at 3 p.m. Uh, please reach out to me with any questions you have. Uh, good luck on this first week of kicking off your e-learning. Um, I know you guys are going to do great. Um, and let me know if you have any questions on the material or the process that you're doing.